During the latter half of the 1960s, as the world witnessed a period of revolutionary fervour inspired by anti-colonial struggles in Africa and Asia, left-wing militant struggles in places such as South America and the civil rights struggle in the USA, two militant socialist organisations were formed in Ireland. Although they were created separately from each other, with one being based in Cork and another being based in Dublin, both would adopt the name of Ser Era. Ser Era was also the name of another small militant left-wing Irish Republican organisation which had stemmed from the Irish Republican Army and had been formed in the 1930s by Republican socialists concerned by the conservative direction and attitude of the Irish Republican Army at the time. These organisations were formed initially by socialist members of the Irish Republican Army who, after the complete failure of the border campaign between 1956 and 1962, were disillusioned with the direction of the Irish Republican Army, acting as a national army wanting to engage in armed struggle without any overt ideological aspirations. They felt that the objective of Irish unity was little more than a romantic notion to those whose active support they failed to obtain during the border campaign. They felt that the struggle was worlds away from the realities and out of touch with the concerns of the ordinary Irish people. They felt a wider struggle had to be waged, not only against British rule, but the capitalist economic system they saw as the natural ally of British rule in Ireland that exploited people on both sides of the border. In 1969, as the civil rights struggle in the north of Ireland began to turn into a conflict between the nationalist minority and the British government, Ser Era, based in Cork, began to send weapons, munitions and any support they could offer to the beleaguered nationalist communities in Ulster. Meanwhile, the Ser Era group in Dublin began to engage in fundraising activities such as robbing banks to build a war chest. During one such robbery in April 1970, Ser Era in Dublin shot and killed a member of the Irish police force on Garda Síochána. Over time, with no clear defining date, members of Ser Era in Cork had begun to operate with members of Ser Era in Dublin. Ser Era would engage in a number of audacious bank robberies, taking over a part of Norrie Town and robbing two banks in 1969 while fully armed, and then engaging with the British Royal Ulster Constabulary while escaping, and then taking over the village of Ratrum in County Wicklow, again fully armed, cutting phone wires and then robbing the local bank. In 1970, they bombed the business Dalton Supplies in Bray County Wicklow, demanding that the company implement recommendations given to them by the Labour Court on behalf of the workers. Also in 1970, one of their own members, Liam Walsh, was killed when a bomb he was transporting along a railway track in Dublin exploded, taking his life. However, between the state's growing desire to stop Sarera and the internal issues Sarera would experience, their luck would eventually change. By 1971, Arising from a dispute relating to the location of funds and weapons, a Dublin member of Ser Era, Peter Graham, had been tortured and executed. One of those alleged to have taken part in the torture and execution of Peter Graham was Cork Ser Era volunteer Larry White. By 1973, there were widespread internal claims of criminality within Ser Era. This prompted eight political prisoners aligned to Ser Era to release a statement disavowing of the organisation, claiming it had now been used by individuals for their own personal financial gain. In the following years, Ser Era was virtually non-existent, as larger guerrilla armies such as the official IRA, the new provisional IRA and the Irish National Liberation Army would come to the helm of the conflict in the northern six counties. It would not be until 1975 that Ser Era would officially cease to exist, with the execution of Cork Ser Era volunteer Larry White by members of the official IRA. On the night of June the 10th, 1975, Larry White was walking home from his local pub close to midnight. He walked up Cathedral Road and turned on to Mount Eden Road close to where he lived at the time. Walking along the footpath, he stopped to see two men walking towards him. One of them was holding a submachine gun known as a grease gun. 
Realising he was in danger, Larry turned to run as he was riddled with a number of shots. The perpetrators ran to a nearby car and made their escape. A number of days later, and with a large guardy presence, the body of Larry White was laid to rest. Following a number of arrests, it became clear that the execution had been carried out by the Corp Brigade of the official IRA due to a dispute between Larry and their members. Those who had been arrested for the execution of Larry White claimed they were severely beaten during their interrogation. One of those arrested claimed that he had stolen a white cortina for use in the execution and he also led Gardy to the scene of a silencer which was used on the weapon. Four men were later found guilty, while two were later acquitted as they had been interrogated longer than the legal time allotted. In conclusion, Sir Era was a militant guerrilla organisation which had comprised of many committed socialist republicans. It can be argued, however, that its emphasis on robbing banks and its failure to engage in more military and political activities aimed at the British state led to its political and military stagnation. Claims of criminality and its ultimate irrelevance when compared to the much larger and active organisations which many of its members would later join, such as the official IRA, provisional IRA and Irish National Liberation Army. Even today, Sir Eyre remains in the minds of observers as a clandestine and largely unknown organisation which would have had as much in common with the Red Army faction and typical international left-wing militant organisations than other republican socialist movements operating in Ireland at the time.